Yes, Final Cut Pro can be used on multiple computers. But how many? I'll show you, but it depends on your legal classification. Stick around to the end and I'll show you how to transfer your projects from one computer to another, including a step if skipped will leave you with that dreaded red error screen. Let's take a look at the licensing options for Final Cut Pro on Apple's About page. And I'll link to this page in the description so you can look at it more carefully. But if we scroll down, there's a section here. How many computers can you install Final Cut Pro on? It says here for personal non-commercial use, you can install one copy of Final Cut Pro on each Apple computer that you own or control. I'm no lawyer, but to me it sounds like for personal use, you can install Final Cut Pro on all of your computers. Now, if you're a business, or a school, you can install Final Cut Pro and use it by a single individual on each of the computers you own or control. So one person can use Final Cut Pro on multiple computers, or a bunch of people can share a computer and use Final Cut Pro on that one computer. And they give an example here too. They say a single employee can use the software on both their desktop and their laptop, or an example of students, they can use Final Cut on a single Mac computer located in a resource center like a library. So a bunch of students can come and use Final Cut Pro on that one computer. So if you qualify, you can install Final Cut Pro on multiple computers. And if you're ready to do that, I'll show you how. Press Command Spacebar and open up the App Store by typing the word App Store and pressing Enter. And then make sure you're logged in. You can see I'm logged in here. And then I'll search Final Cut Pro and then I'll click on it here. And once I'm logged in, and if I don't have it installed on this computer, I'll see an install button here instead of open. Currently I have Final Cut Pro installed on three of my computers. And if you need to update it too, do the same thing. Come to the App Store here and you'll see an update button here when there's a new version available. Once you've got Final Cut Pro installed on other computers, you may need to transfer your library from one to another. To do that, first connect an external hard drive to your computer. Keep in mind you can't store a Final Cut Pro library on a Time Machine hard drive that is backing up your libraries. Then in Final Cut Pro, go to the Libraries browser. If you don't see it open, click on this button right here, this little clapperboard button. That shows and hides the library sidebar. Select the library you want to move and then open up the inspector by clicking on this button in the upper right hand corner or pressing Command 4. Then click on Modify Settings and make sure that Media says In Library. And then if you have some motion content like titles or transitions you're using that you want to transfer, change that to in library as well. However, this will not work for third party plugins and effects that you've bought and downloaded. You'll need to manually install those on the new computer. Then press OK. In this media section of the inspector, click on consolidate. This will bring in all the media, your pictures and videos that you have spread out. It will bring it all into one place in your library so that then you can transfer it to the new computer. Select your media destination. We want it to go in the library. And then we want to include our original media. We can include optimized and proxy media as well, but that will take up a lot of space. So for this example, I'm just gonna leave those off. Then I'll click OK. Final Cut says there are no files to consolidate. They already exist. So none of my files are out and about. They're all together in one place. But if yours are spread out, this is when Final Cut will bring them all together and put them in your library. You can also consolidate your motion content like the titles, transitions, and effects by clicking on Consolidate here. Next, quit Final Cut Pro by pressing Command Q. Now we need to find our library. So click on your hard drive, go to Users, your name, and then go to the Movies folder, and you'll see some different libraries here. They have these special icons. Remember, always have Final Cut Pro closed when you're copying or moving a library. So here's the library I wanted to move. I'll just drag and drop it onto my external hard drive, and it will copy over. Now that it's copied over to my external hard drive, I can eject that hard drive and then connect it to my new computer. Now I have the hard drive connected to my new computer. We're pretending here. And I can take this library and I can now copy it or move it to my new computer. I'll just put it right here. And then I can double click it to open it up in Final Cut Pro. And there's our library transferred from one computer to another. You can also copy or move your projects from one computer to another, but a project must be in a library in order to do that. You can also copy one project or multiple projects and you can also copy a project without the media. If your library just has one project in it, then all you need to do is just copy that library over to the new computer. But if you have a few projects in there and you want to isolate one project, then you'll need to do a couple extra steps. I'm curious, are you excited to install Final Cut Pro on multiple computers? If so, and you're enjoying this video, will you please give it a thumbs up so other people will find this video? Thank you. And in just a second, I'm gonna show you how to copy a project without the media. But first I wanna show you how to isolate just one project and move it to a new computer. 
In Final Cut Pro, select the event with the project or projects you want to move. If you want to move all of these projects and all this media, then just select the event. But if you want to move just this project, make sure and select it or select the projects you want to move. For this example, we're going to just move this one project. Go up to File and select Copy Project to Library and select New Library. Give that library a name. We'll call it Move Project. Select where you want to save it in the Movies folder is fine and click Save. This window pops up asking us what we want to copy. So we want to include the media, yes. We'll include the original media and any media in an external location like a hard drive. I can also modify the settings for the media here. Right now it's gonna store in the library and that's fine. So I'll press OK. And you'll see that we have this new library, a new event, and that project has been copied over along with the media that was used in the project. All right, select the new library you just created and then go back to our inspector. In the media section here, make sure that the location is set to in library. And then again, if we want to include any titles, effects, or transitions, we can store those in the library as well. For this project, I don't have any, so I'll leave it as is. And then I can consolidate media that might not be in the library. However, I have everything in the library right now, so I don't need to do that. All right, once everything's consolidated, let's right click on the library and select Reveal in Finder. This is a fast way to find where your library is stored without running through Finder. Then go back to Final Cut Pro and quit. Now I can move this library that has the one project in it by dragging and dropping it onto my external hard drive. Once that's done copying, now I can take my hard drive, connect it to the other computer, and then drag and drop this project into the new computer computer and then double click it to open like I did before. So there might be times where you want to copy a project, but you don't want to take the media with it because you have duplicates of the media. You have media on the original computer and the new computer. You just need the project itself. So to do that, select the library with the project you want to move and then go to the inspector and in the storage location sections, click on modify. All right, now click here for in library and select choose and select a new location. I'm gonna put mine on the desktop and we'll create a new folder, we'll call it copy project, no media. And then I'll choose that location. For motion content, click here and select in motion templates folder and then click okay. Now click on consolidate under media and select the original media and press okay. Now Final Cut Pro is going to copy or move all of those files to that external location outside of our library. Now quit Final Cut Pro and find that library in your finder. Here it is, copy library. And you'll notice it's small, it's 1.8 megabytes. That's because all the media has been moved out of it. Then drag and drop your library to your external hard drive and copy it over. Now you can connect that hard drive to the new computer and then add the library to your new computer and double click it to open it. You may need to relink clips or set the new storage locations on the new Mac when you open up the library. Sweet, isn't that great that you can use Final Cut Pro on multiple computers? Now that you're working with Final Cut Pro on multiple computers, I put together my top 12 tricks for working with multiple projects in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.